The 11th edition of the Federation of African University Sports FASU Games is in full swing where over 1,500 athletes from across the continent are competing for laurels while building connections that will strengthen Africa's sporting ties. The nine-day sporting event themed Compete, Unite and Excel, which began on September 20, marks the first ever co-hosting effort in the history of the competition by the Lag University of Lagos and Lagos State University, Lasso. Our correspondent, Sidney Okafo, has more details in this next report. The competition doubled Lagos 24 features 43 member countries of FASU competing in 17 different sports events including athletics, basketball, football, swimming, boxing and more. While Unilag hosts football, cricket, swimming, basketball, handball and tennis, the indoor games are held at Lasso. The Unilag Sports Center is filled with excited sports fans and students cheering on their favorite teams. We are going to win the games. Yeah, so, yeah, he's in like a um, goalkeeper. We just made a goal now. I told you, we are in for this. The momentum is already there, so... At first, when we lost to it, we are yet to get our momentum, but now we have got it. We won last day, but we need today, and we are definitely winning through the group stage and to the semi-finals, to the finals, hopefully. It's one of those times that you get to see people from... I mean, it's not just Nigeria now, it's all over Africa, and the fact that the games are in Unilag is just easier. So, and I stay around, so I will just stop by, see a few games, go anytime I want to come back, and yeah. It's really nice and I'm expecting a lot from me like as you can see we're winning the basketball game now and the football game is also going very well. FASU football coordinator says the aim of all African university games aims is to discover hidden talent in the nation through sports. I just feel that we count ourselves very fortunate for the hosting ride because in hunting for grassroots talent at the grassroots this is opportunity where you can have them. Also bringing unity among African students is also part of it. Then that unity is what is that is paramount. Then, because we can say the like of Apedi Pele, the likes of Okocha, Tano, in competition like this, we can discover one or two of them. Sports analysts at the event urged the government to invest more funds into grassroots sports development. I am not happy because the truth is that even if, even if it's in university games, you will see the crowd here everywhere is jam packed and people are just, you wouldn't even find space to pass. Some of these cars will not even, even park here. So I don't really know. So I'm thinking that government should put more, put more money into sports. In America, any athlete, that you see that, that wins NWNCAA, you will see them representing their country and they are winning medals in the Olympics. Nigeria universities, Nigeria, all Nigerian institutions should try to encourage sports. Everything is not about education, education, education. Though we all know that is their primary assignment. But putting sports and academics together, they can go at the highest level. In athletics, Nigeria is currently leading on the medals table ahead of Kenya and Ethiopia, who occupy second and third place respectively. The hosts have promised to make this edition a reference point in the history of the FASU Games. Sydney Okafor, TV360, Lagos. <laughs>